Hi everyone, it's time for TikTok. Today's artist is David Hockney, who's a well-known British artist who's still alive today. David Hockney is one of the most important painters of the 20th century. If you looked up famous British painters, there's a very good chance that Hockney's name will appear. He was born in Branford, England in 1937, and he was one of the biggest artists involved in the pop art movement of the 1960s. What do you think? Does Hockney like to paint people? Well, the answer is yes. He loves painting portraits of people he loves and capturing his relationships with them. Hockney currently lives in Normandy, France with his dog, Ruby. Hockney, of course, grew up in England. After university, he lived in London and in the 1960s made a trip out to California. Hockney became completely infatuated with Los Angeles and made numerous paintings influenced by the Southern California lifestyle. Hockney lives in London as well as Southern California and no two places could be more different. California is usually always sunny, whereas England, the weather changes all the time. So when he's painting in England, Hockney likes to paint the seasons. Check out this painting called Going Up Garobi Hill. He's painted this canvas of a landscape in Yorkshire where he grew up. There are lots of different colors. Why do you think this is? And when he's in California, his paintings are colorful and bold. In this painting called A Bigger Splash, he paints a swimming pool. It looks like someone has just jumped right into the water and the blue is so bright that you want to get on that diving board and jump right in too. And look at how tall those palm trees are. You won't find tall palm trees like that in England, that's for sure. We've finally come to the piece of art that we're basing our project on today. Portrait of an artist, Pool with two figures painted by David Hockney, of course, in the year 1972. The painting combines portraits, landscapes, and saturated color, all making a perfect composition. He shows the movement of the water surface caused by the swimmer's movements with wavy white lines cutting through the blue. He also captures the effect that water has changing the shape of a swimmer's body. Before we start the project, take a few minutes and think about water. Think about how it moves around you when you're in it, whether it's a pool or the ocean or a pond or even your bathtub. Think about who you're playing with. Are you snorkeling? How does the water look around you? Is it clear? Is it murky? Are there other things in it like fish and sea life? Are you jumping into the water? Is your best friend, your dog, in the water with you? How is the sun shining through the water? Or maybe it's a cloudy day. Take a few minutes, think these things through, and then we will start our project. The supplies you're going to need today for the project. One piece of paper, if it's a little thicker, that's great. One or two paint brushes, a little bit on the larger side of water, some watercolors. If you have a bunch of crayons, the, that works as well. And color pencils work great as well. Um, oil pastels are something we'll be using at the end. So if you have the oil pastels, fantastic. If you don't, colored pencils, especially white or white crayon, will do the trick. Hopefully you've found some ideas in your brain about what you'd like to draw for your underwater picture. I am going to do someone who's swimming um, straight as an arrow on their back. So I'm going to start the drawing and then um, once I'm finished with the drawing we'll go on to the second and then the third steps and you'll be done. While I'm drawing I'll share a little bit more about David Hockney. Today he's 83 years old and most amazingly, he's still working. Currently, he's in Normandy, like I said earlier. He's been painting on an iPad ever since they came out. And at the end of this video, I have shared a bunch of his newest works of art that he started this March, 2020. And one of my favorite quotes of his 
is goes a little bit something like this. It says, I like to live in the now. That's all there is now, actually. Fun fact, this painting, Portrait of an Artist, sold in 2018 for $90 million and became the most expensive work by a living artist ever sold. Can you believe it? So now that you've done your drawing, here is the fun, tricky bit. So you're going to take your oil pastel or your color pencil or your white crayon and you're going to think back to what um, the patterns of water were that we saw on David Hockney's drawings. And you're going to make those shapes of the water over the entire piece that you've done. Now you can make them really squiggly, jagged, just think about how it, how it was laid out in the photos that we've seen, the paintings we've seen, and also, you know, just from, the, from all those videos that you've seen as well. We're just gonna go over the whole thing And you can't really see it. It's kind of boring. You can't see any of it. Maybe at a certain angle. Here's where it gets really fun. Now you take your paintbrush and get it wet. Dry it off a little bit. And then go for your blue watercolor. And I'm going to start at the top. You can start wherever. I'm just gonna go over the entire piece. I'm gonna get some more blue, a little more water, a little more pigment. I'm gonna go over the whole thing. And as you go over it, it's the coolest thing. All of a sudden, all those crayons or oil pastel lines or water or uh, color pencil lines start showing up. I'm just gonna add a little bit more pigment to some of these areas. And true to watercolor, you know, it's not all the same tone across the entire page. And this is why it's really important that you color your entire figure or anything that's on the page that you don't want to be <clears throat> um, turning blue because the color pencil that you've drawn with actually will repel the water and repel the watercolor so that the pigment doesn't go on top of your person all the way through. And that's it. And then you let it dry. Here is the second technique I was talking about. What you'd like to do if you don't have watercolor is find a piece of colored paper, blue preferably, draw your figure, color it in with color pencil, or crayon and you wanna make sure you, you know, really fit, fill it in so the color blue doesn't come through too much. And then to get the watercolor effect, you just take your white color pencil or crayon and do your lines like this. And so you'll just keep doing that as you see fit. And that's how you make a different type. Here are some finished projects for you to take a look at. The last collage is from Ridge School 2019. As promised, here are eight of Hoffney's latest iPad paintings. Enjoy! Well, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining today's TikTok lesson, learning all about David Hockney. 
please remember to post your very own Hockney-esque swimming underwater pictures. All of them I would love to see. All the information on where to post will follow at the end of this video. And please remember, take time for art, make time for art. TikTok.